what's up guys, this is uh, episode 4 of our weekly video blog. I have a few things that I wanted to show you, uh, mostly just new manifolds and uh, other projects that we're working on. Um, here we go. Uh, this is a uh, Mazda Speed stock replacement. This one happens to be in a T3 frame. Yeah, we still have to tag it and uh, do our finish welding and wastegate it and stuff like that, but... Uh, you know, maybe uh, later on in the video I'll show you it as a finished product. This is also a Mazda Speed Manifold, but uh, T4 divided top mount. This should allow guys for uh, running, you know, 35R or bigger, guys that want to make 700 plus. This is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, this manifold just happens to be for a guy that's running it alternator relocation yeah, kit. In this case, since he relocated his alternator, that um, we were able to have free reign with doing whatever we wanted. So, again, I'll show you this later on in the video as a finished product. We have to badge it, wastegate it, deck it, do our finish welding, stuff like that. So, um, last couple weeks, I've been working towards getting new badges made for all of our manifolds. Here's uh, here's a sample that we uh, were sent. <clears throat> I like it. It's pretty nice. We finally have our full name in the badges before it just said AFI. Now we have AFI Turbo in the whole name. Um, they're all water jet, uh, done by a local company. It's really nice quality. So I think I'll use them from now on. Uh, this is also a newly revised uh, Evo 8 stock replacement manifold. Uh, used to have a bunch of tight radius bends and stuff like that in it, and now it's just uh, much easier to build and a lot cheaper because tight radius bends are pretty expensive. So, um, yeah, so that'll be it for today. I'm going to show you our Cobra project and uh, a forward facing project that we're working on uh, later on in the video. Uh, until then, see you later. All right, it's. Uh Friday night about 9 o'clock. I stayed a little late to finish up the collector for our Cobra project. Uh, I started earlier this week for the uh, turbo placement and uh, figuring out what I wanted to do with the collector. Finally got around to being able to finish it today. Um, so I wanted to show you that. Hold on one sec. Alright, uh, it's two inch material. Um, we'll be running crossover pipes from each header that I built. I'll show those to you later on in the video. Um, it's going to hang off the front cover, kind of like a top mount. Driver side is uh, the right side of the collector. Passenger side bank is the left side of the collector. And um, it will be pretty simple. I just added some braces because it will be supporting a 7675 from Precision. so want to make sure it didn't move at all so all right well I'll show you the rest of what the kits got tomorrow afternoon and uh, I'll tell until then um, talk to you later. Right, Saturday afternoon just finished up welding some of the uh, runners for the Cobra project I want to show you what we got going on this is for the uh, driver's side bank um, it's gonna be all v-band going around the K member and um, yeah, fairly equal length runners. I mean, as you can see, they're all about the same length. And uh, the passenger side header doesn't look too much different, so um, should give you a decent idea. And uh, I'm going to go walk over there and show you uh, turbo placement and stuff like that. So, be right back. All right, I just wanted to show you the turbo placement on our Cobra here. Um, it's going to be using the Precision 7675 uh, billet wheel, general bearing. Uh, T4 open 96 AR pretty simple turbo, but uh, Should work good for what we're going to do with it. So All right, hold on one sec
there you go. Uh, we're going to mount the radiator fan and stuff tomorrow, make sure that all clears, which it should clear by a mile because it's a Mishimoto Slim fan. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, by the end of the next week, I should have uh, some more video stuff for you guys. Thanks. Bye. Earlier in the video, I spoke about the Mazda Speed top mount and the uh, stock replacement manifold. I just wanted to show you what they will kind of look like uh, once they're wastegated. So this is the T4 twin scroll top mount. Uh, like I said earlier, it's for guys that want to run like a 35R or bigger. Um, you know, it's uh, set up for twin 44 gates and uh, inch and a half material, so it should definitely support anything over 700 horsepower. And there's the stock replacement. This one here is actually flanged for a T3 frame turbo and uh, gated with a 44 outlet. Um, very similar to our actual stock replacement manifold itself. Uh, only difference is, of course, the, the T3 frame and, and the wastegate outlet. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to hit our website here in the next week or two since I get some product shots and uh, will be available to the public. Thanks a lot.